I'm Jeff Wilson and welcome to MMAI. On October 24th, there's a very significant fight for the lightweight title between Justin Gaethje and uh, Khabib. We simulated the Gaethje-Khabib fight on the new UFC 4 video game. And in this time, in five simulations, Khabib won four out of five times, all by decision. Gaethje won once by decision. Our previous simulations on UFC 3 had Khabib winning all five times. Now let's take a look back at what the pros from LFA, Bellator, and UFC had to say about this epic fight. Uh, Gaethje, Khabib, I mean, are you kidding me, man? Um, can't think of a fight I'd rather see, you know, uh, truly two of the best. The only times Gaethje's lost, what he really wasn't even losing the fight, you know, it um, heard him say himself, he kind of let off the gas. And so just um, in, in my mind, the two best fighters in their prime going at it. How I see this fight, you know, man, I got to go for, for USA and my boy, uh, Justin Gaethje. Like, I really like Gaethje. I met him and he's a great guy. He's, he trains with like such a high level guys, you know, he, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I like both guys, but I hope Gaethje gets, gets it, you know, I think he deserves it. Um, but also it's hard not to go with, with uh, Khabib, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, for that one, there's ways that I think it's going to go and ways I, I want it to go, you know, so uh Khabib he's he's a hammer he he keeps coming forward he takes people down and he smashes people which to be honest that's how I think this fight's gonna go but what I want to see just because I'm, I'm from Arizona big fan of Gaethje I watched him fight live back in World Series of Fighting one of my favorite fights that I've ever seen live I'm hoping that he could pull up the upset take him out and have a new champ you know, first things first, we got to think about the passing of Khabib's father. Um, you know, how does that play um, into his next fight camp, into his life, how he's feeling, how he's going to fight off emotions, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it could make him, you know, stronger. It could make him weaker. Um, you know, who knows how he is upstairs mentally. But, you know, being probably the best fighter in the world right now, uh, we're, I'm going to consider he's probably very mentally strong and, and, and maybe even come out stronger. That said, though, man, I think Justin Gaethje is the best fighter in the world right now. And uh, I think he has – I think he's um, the kryptonite to, you know, Khabib Superman. Um, it, he's better than Khabib everywhere except, obviously, the wrestling. But I think uh, Gaethje's scrambling defense and his conditioning and his pure heart and toughness just, just beats that takedown every time. Uh, I think he scrambles back up to his feet. Or, or he's able to hold himself in a position where, you know, the ref does, does eventually stand them up. Um, Gaethje's got power in both hands. He's always throwing knees. And those kicks he throws, man, he throws kicks after every punch or he throws a kick before his punches like nobody else does. And those just damage you. They bring the house down. Um, so with those kicks, you know, being so powerful and the strikes landing, that uppercut and those hooks, Khabib's in for, for, for a world of hurt, man. Um, I see, I see Gaethje beating him. Yeah, but I'm going to say it. it's going it's to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a tough fight for Gaethje, but I think he has the, uh, the tools to pull this off. And looking at it, I say I think they're both a bad matchup for each other. You know, uh, Gaethje, uh, he's an anti-wrestler. And uh, Khabib, he's a full-on wrestler. So it's going to be kind of a car crash in the middle, I think. I think he's – I don't want to say he has to stop him. Because I, I would I would have said the same thing with Tony Ferguson. So I think he can win a decision. You know, most of us thought going into the Ferguson fight, he had to stop Ferguson, right? And I think he even showed himself that he can go the distance if he's controlling the fight. I think you're really going to see who's going to win this fight based on the first round and a half. If Gaethje can come out early and he can land those significant, like, leg kicks and some good shots to the head, he's going to slow Khabib down. On the flip side, if Khabib comes out and just takes him down right away, it could be a very long night for Gaethje. Yeah, I have confidence, though, man. Uh, Gaethje, you don't see him wrestle, but he's always wrestling when he's striking, when he's working in the clinch. He's always working to stay on his feet. I think that Khabib is going to take – I mean, I, I, I want Gaethje to win, and he looked amazing his last fight. He uh, performed super well. So I wouldn't be surprised if he took it. Khabib, it's just – it seems like when he gets, he gets you down and he gets – that pressure onto Gaethje does have nasty wrestling, but 
I think that Khabib will be able to keep him down, but I'm really looking forward to the fight. I can't wait. Intriguing matchup for sure. Um, I think Gaethje probably is one of the few guys that could beat um, Khabib for sure, just the style he possesses. Um, Khabib, though, you know, he's just, until someone beats him, it might be hard to bet against him. Maybe okay. the guy who could do it. You know? I think also the problem is what if Gaethje does get on his back, you know, can he get up? Can he, you know, move? It's like, it's just a lot of variables because Khabib could probably get him down, but the problem is, you know, can he and will Gaethje be able to get up? You know, it's just those type of variations, I think, kind of are unpredictable with the fight. You know, yeah, I like it. It's a good fight. I think it's going to be crazy. It's going to be what I thought the Ferguson fight would be, either Khabib's easiest fight or his most difficult fight. Um, I don't think it's going to be a back and forth. I think whoever wins, they're going to be winning from bell to bell. Uh, but I think it's going to be Khabib. I think Khabib, just, his wrestling's just on another level, man. And it's just one of those things, kind of like Connor, where it's like you got to touch him to hurt him. Connor couldn't touch him, and I don't know if Gaethje can. For sure. I mean, if he gets one of those leg kicks off, even if it hurts, it's a good chance Khabib tries to catch it. And if he gets him down, it's going to be a bad night. I think Habib's going to Habib. I think it's going to look a lot like all of the other fights. I think he's going to take him down and, and smash him for five rounds if he has to. For me, to be honest, I, I cheer for Habib for a long time. I like his style. I like the way he fights. Uh, I know that there are many people who doesn't like it, but I don't know. It's, I think I have similar style too. Maybe that's why I like it more. But if I, uh, in my opinion, it will be a very hard fight. And if Justin will manage to keep the fight stand up, definitely he will have the advantage. But it will be hard, it will be hard uh, because Cage will be small. And um, I do believe that uh, Habib will be able to take him down. And then, then it will be a very hard time for him. But on the other hand, uh, Justin uh, trains in uh, Denver, Colorado, which is a high altitude. And uh, his cardio and his team is amazing. Fight, uh, elevation fight team, I used to train there for a month for my previous fight. Like, they are so, so good in every aspect. So I, I believe that they will prepare him very, very well. So to, like, guess, um, I think still Habib can, will win. But it's a very, very, very hard guess. It's like, to, in my opinion, it's like 50-50. And... Um, it will be very hard to like say who, who's going to win, but it will be very tough and very hard fight for Habib too. So I think it will be the toughest fight for him. Very good striker, has amazing cardio. So let's see. Uh, I'm very excited. By the way, 25th is my birthday, so this will be kind of very good uh, day for me to like celebrate it and then watch it, watch the fight for it. Depends on the person. Some people. Uh, who have, uh, let's say, some great loss or some depression in their life, they, they, they use it, they, they take it in two ways. Either they are breaking or they are like getting even more stronger. Personally, me, I'm like, for example, when I have some problem or some difficulty in life, I'm like, I'm diving into my trainings and I'm like twice dangerous and twice better shape in the, yeah. because th that the training is the only thing what, what can take me away from that pain or from that problem or those kind of stuff. So I believe it, it will not be a big problem for Habib because for him, the, his father was, uh, I think, the everything. And he, he will just die or he will, he will do everything for this win. And I, this makes him very dangerous. I, I don't think that this will affect his, um, his performance and uh, it may give him more power, more strength. I believe so. I feel like it's going to be a lot of violence. I ain't going to lie, man. That, that fight, there's no animosity towards one another. It's two people who truly believe they deserve to be on the top of the pedestal. You have a guy like Khabib who's proved over time and time again why he's the best at 155 in that weight division, and he's the best at what he does. Um, but now he's going to fight somebody who is a more dangerous striker with – an equivalent or almost equal level pedigree of grappling and wrestling. The only thing is we, you know, is Gatchi going to be able to use that wrestling like he used to back when he was a great wrestler or has he focused so much on the standup 
that Khabib's going to be able to take advantage of that, you know. Uh, we've seen Gatsby get wild. We've seen him with his hands down. We've seen throwing wild uppercuts and hoping they land because he's already said it. He's not going out to be the smart fighter. He's going out there to try to hurt the other guy. Um, it's either he knocks them out or they knock him out. It's either or. And we've seen that happen. We've seen him get viciously knocked out before. But at the same time, he was in that fight about to put the other guy away. So the way I see this fight playing out is I think Khabib gets the win by – wearing and tearing on uh Gatchi, you know doing the dirty grappling making it to where Gatchi doesn't have that full extension on his punches he's not able to throw those wild uppercuts i think khabib's gonna play it smart and try to wear down Gatchi. but if we can see Gatchi use his wrestling to his advantage to keep the fight standing up and throwing you know uppercuts all the time making it to where khabib has to only grapple in the clinch position he can't shoot on the leg then we're going to see a potential change of the belt. Um, I can't say who's going to win this fight. Honestly, it's one of those ones where it's like a part of me thinks Khabib can go out there, get the takedown, maul with a ground and pound for a little bit. But another part of me feels like Gatsby is going to be the first person who throws Khabib off his game plan and makes Khabib start to be the one who's backpedaling. It, it can go either way. Just if, I feel like it just depends on whatever happens in that first round. And it's the, the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Uh, and I mean, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever bet against uh, Khabib. I mean, I think the only time we ever really saw him fight where he looked like he was in real trouble was um, Michael Johnson put him on skates. But other than that, he's, he's looked nothing but dominant. So um, that said, it'll be really interesting to see what Justin Gaethje can bring to the table, not with the low kicks. And, you know, um, I mean, Khabib, as far as like his wrestling goes, I think – Khabib has fought high caliber wrestlers before, high caliber grapplers before, or guys that can keep it on the feet well. So I don't know how much of a factor Gagey's wrestling will be. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what kind of role it plays in the. You train with somebody uh, in this fight, don't you? Do a lot of rounds with Justin Gagey. Uh, he just talked about recently in that uh, article that got put out about the dead zone, just like when he fought uh, Tony. So as soon as Tony came in into that zone, he was stinging him with some hard shots. So he could never really get his offense going or even exchanging the grappling or anything along those lines because once he got in that zone, he was just shutting it down right away with power shots. And along with those power shots, he has some probably the best leg kicks in the game. And uh, I think it's going to – create a major problem for Khabib. He hasn't really shown his wrestling yet, but trust me, it's in there. He's a great wrestler. He's a hard dude to take down. He scrambles very well. Um, you know, he can take people down, stop the takedown, scramble. He, he is a complete wrestler. I mean, he's a D1 All-American. You don't do that and not have any sort of wrestling ability. Um, I think that combine, combined with his aggression is – hard power shots and everything else that he brings to the table, I think he's going to be a real problem for Khabib. I feel like this fight will be very interesting. Just the fact is in there's like more brought to the table than most people think. Because one thing about the video game is, is that is one is not real life. And two, the fact is in since it's not real life, they're not bringing what actually is going on in, in basically life in general. Like I know like on the books, it's, it shows that Khabib should win five out of five. But I know that that computer did not calculate the factors in Khabib lost somebody in his life. Like, you know, RIP, rest in peace to, um, you know, to his father. Uh, but in the situation, that wasn't added in and his mind could be anywhere right now. You know? So uh, I do feel like this is would be an awesome fight, but I do also feel like anything that happens can go into any type of direction at the moment. But as of right now, I feel if it's a short round, it's gonna go. It's gonna go with Gaethje, and if it ends up going in the long rounds, it's 100% um, Khabib. Yeah, so that's how I actually feel about. It. There it is. Because that's all. I just say uh, it's just the first round right now that I would be worried with Khabib at the moment. It's we don't know what side's gonna come out. We don't know if it's gonna be the emotional where he's gonna waste his tank and Gaethje just survives the first round, and then since Khabib is tired in the second, boom, boom, bam, Gaethje wins. Or we end up getting that other side where everything's automatically in control and he brings Gaethje down into the water. But I do know that Gaethje's circled around really good fighters and good uh, wrestlers to automatically work with, you know, the fight could be type thing. So everything kind of ends up like depending on basically 
could be. You know, yeah. it's, it's what he's bringing to the table at the moment. I've seen it, been around it. Because uh, you got to remember that Khabib was some, it's the type where people that are very similar to Khabib, they are the type that's been around fighting because their parents made them be around fighting. Are you with me? So when they leave, it's there's that two sides where, hey, I'm going to take over because, you know, I knew my, my possible, or, you know, the person I look up to is going to pass and there it is. And then you have that other side where it's like, hey, this is your dream and I'm only living it out because I love you. But as soon as you go away, it doesn't really mean much to me. Like, you know, it's like my passion left with his passion, you know? So this is why I end up saying we don't know what type of person that he is. And in this fight, we're going to end up seeing that. It was just uh, the same uh, example with Rose. I just so got done fighting. Good? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Ended up fighting her last fight. You know how the fight before that, how she got, you know, almost broke her neck, the whole nine. And, or, you know, she ended up retiring, right? Through that retirement that she ended up having, even granted it was like short-lived and she came back. And when she jumped into that into the cage, one, it's like people that end up understanding like all the people, all, all the demons that she had to honestly cross through before she jumped into the cage. First one was the fact that she retired. She had to, you know, get the encouragement of, hey, let me come back. And then two, it came to the moment of actually stepping into the cage. Granted that she said it, yeah, she signed it, but it's still step in. And then three, it was actually to pass the second round that she actually almost broke her neck in. You know, and that's so all those things mind. were possible obstacles in her mind that she. I love the. I love that. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, she won the fight, right? And I know a lot of people say, "Oh, yeah, she won the fight the whole nine. But reality, she won the fight in that first sequence that I told you. She won up winning four times. Like she oh, ended yeah. up winning four times in one night. And granted, like you know, it was exciting and you know bruised up and everything. But every one of or everything that happened that night was well worth it because she ended up winning four battles.